hair check-in. It is Monday, February 27th. It's been five days since I've colored my hair. I have not washed it. I've just done dry shampoo and heat styling, but I did use heat protectant. So, so far it looks the same to me. It seems to be holding up pretty good, but of course I haven't washed it. So I'll have to give you guys an update when I wash it. Another reason that it's difficult to color my hair that I forgot to go over in the video is that a lot of times, actually I should say almost all the time, I only wash the crown of my head because this is what gets the greasiest and it takes so long to dry extensions that I just wash this part of my hair and dry it and then move on with my week. <laughs> I do that like twice a week and then I wash my extensions probably only once every two or three weeks. And so that's kind of the routine. So when you have this hair color and this hair color in your extensions, the top starts to fade out super fast. Generally it does anyway because of the sun, no matter if you have extensions or not, but it does happen faster. So sometimes I have to go back in and color my actual natural hair that's sitting over my extensions. But five days later, it's doing pretty good. I'll follow up with you guys after I wash it, I think. And I'll let you know if I wash it cold or hot. We'll see what I'm feeling like when I wash it. I'll probably wash it in the next few days. I washed my hair today with cold water. And this is what we have left. So it definitely faded a tiny bit, but I mean, it's pastel. I was gonna wash it with hot water, but I did it with um, cold water and this is what we got left. So it still looks really pretty, I think. Um, I'll probably, starting with my next shower, start to wash it with hot water just to kind of get it out of there and then we'll do something different. But I'll follow up with you guys and check in with you after I wash it next and we'll see. And it had been like close to a week since I um, colored it and I've been heat styling it and stuff without protectant. So yeah, not too bad. All right, so it has been six days since I washed my hair. And now I realize why it's so greasy right now. I was like, oh, I feel like it got greasy really quick, but no, it's been a long time. Now, when I don't have colored hair, I typically take this top portion, I probably mentioned this before, but I take this top portion of my hair and I just wash the crown of my head because this is what gets the greasiest, as you can see. You wanna see the back? Oh my gosh, you don't wanna see the back, but I'll show it to you. Ugh, it's like so nasty. So, um, I usually will do that when I don't have colored hair, but when I have colored hair, I usually don't do that because this will fade out much faster. And then we have blonde hair on top of colored and it's, it's a whole thing. It's one of the other reasons, in addition to extensions, just being kind of hard to manage with colored hair in general. Another reason why I don't really color it that often. But, um, so here's what we've got after that last time. I haven't really heat styled it or done much with it since um, I showed you guys last. I just like stabbed myself so hard. And these are kind of pointy right now. I love, oh, by the way, I got some new nails. How cute are those for spring? Uh, so I am going to wash it in the shower right now. It is basically to a point where I would start trying to wash this out as a pastel. Um, it's kind of getting like, a little muddy looking like it's still like I could still get some a, a bit out of this but I'm honestly kind of anxious anxious to color it again so I think what I'm gonna do is start trying to get this out of my hair and how I do that is I wash it in hot water and I usually use a kind of a harsh shampoo which isn't great for my hair and great for my extensions but it does the trick so these are cheaper shampoos that have sulfates in them or shampoo like head and shoulders will really like strip it out or like a clarifying shampoo. So um, I don't know what I have in my shower, but I'm pretty much just gonna use whatever I've got in there and um, just start washing this out. It does still look pretty cute. Um, I don't know how it actually looks. I can, I can see it in my viewfinder which is what I'm looking at, but it still looks cute. Like I feel like I get a little bit more out of it, but I'm also about to have another hair appointment to tone these bad boys up here. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna start the process of getting this out of my hair and because the next color that I'm gonna do is gonna be probably a little bit darker than this color when I first did it, it doesn't have to be completely, completely washed out. 
So I will hop on here and show you guys what this looks like after I wash it today a couple times and blow dry it. So I'll check back in with you. I just threw an LED light on this camera because I wanted you guys to be able to see it. I just blow dried it. It is um, pretty much completely washed out. I don't know if you can see, but in person, there's just a little bit of pink left here and there because the purple probably just toned my hair, whereas the pink is standing out a little bit, but it is definitely light enough to recolor. So I think I'll be doing that pretty quick here. So the reason for hot water is, we'll have a little chemistry science lesson for two seconds. So unnatural colors like pink, purple, blue, things like that, the color molecules are much larger than natural colors like brown and black, which is why you can only ever get uh, a fashion color as a semi-permanent and not a permanent or a demi-permanent. So um, that's pretty much the science of it. So basically the color molecules sit on top of your hair strands and with every wash, they start to come off. So when your hair is hot and warm in the shower, your, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The little, uh, I don't know all the technical terms, but pretty much those mo color molecules wash off faster um, because your hair cuticle opens up and all of that kind of stuff. So it allows them to be released easier. So that's pretty much the deal when it comes to color and coming out. So that's why people will say, and stylists will tell you, wash your hair in cold water. And that's why I did my last wash in cold water because I was trying to hang on to the color. Um, so let's check this out. February 22nd is when I originally colored my hair. I've got it right here on my phone. So that is the day that I colored it and it is now March 6th. So it didn't last super long, but I kind of expected that. I knew it wasn't gonna last super long. That's kind of what you get when you play with pastels, which is kind of the fun part about it, but can also be a downside if you want your hair color to last a really long time. So what should we do next? I was thinking about like a icy blue. I don't know if I'm ballsy enough to go there yet because I really don't want it to turn green on me. And the color that I'm gonna try next, I showed you guys on Instagram stories. It's like a conditioner. So I bought the darker version of what I would want and then I can dilute it by half. So I've got 12 ounce conditioners and now basically I have 24 ounces of color because it's darker than what I want. So I will be diluting it with other conditioner. So kind of a win-win there. Um, so I'll link that for you below, but if you guys have any other brands that you would love to see me try, leave them down below and I will check it out. But thanks for watching. What did you guys think? How long did you guys think this was going to last? Did it last longer than you expected or less than you expected? And of course, if you wash your hair more than me, I kind of only wash my hair once a week. Um, then it probably will not even last you as long as it lasted me. And it also depends on how healthy your hair is and so many factors like that. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.